G'day, senorita. Have you missed me? Have you missed Italian Lulu? Yeah, miss you, Lulu. We all miss you over here. We're fucking, um, you know, we're just back here doing the normal shit. You're off gallivant on the globe, so they can't. We can't help but have a, a tinge of jealousy, if we're honest. Yeah. Well, look, I mean, there's a few things to be jealous of. I, I mean, I wouldn't be jealous of the hangover that I had last podcast. I listened back to it and was like, that wasn't a hangover. I was drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, don't fucking you dare say you were hungover, bud. You were, you were rotten. <laughs> the video of me with the sausages... <laughs> And now I'm on the phone. I'm like, can I, can I please have a heaps of sausages? She's like, is that for two? Yeah. No, nope, that's for one. Yeah. You're leaning over being like, and, and you do peanut butter toast and hot chops and um, no hot fruit. Chips. And I love that she just assumed that it was for two people, but it was, nah, it's just for Lula. I tell you what, last night um, I'm with um, some of my Kiwi girlfriends now. We're staying at a Airbnb in uh Poor, sort of Porta 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 Chervo area in Sardinia, and we got I got my first uh, bowl of fries on the whole entire trip last night. Like, because it's obviously been like Italian food, you know, mortadella, salami, cheeses, pasta, bread baskets, all the good shit. Mm-hmm. I thought you were pausing, going, okay, this is where we're going again with the stories. She's gone straight to food, oh, and yeah, there's yeah, nothing yeah. else. Yeah, no. Well, you have told me that your stories have upgraded since last time. So Dior and I have high fucking hopes, lady. But run us through. How mm-hmm. was your first bowl of chippies? Did you just get a sense of this is real living? Oh, it was phenomenal. I was, and, it, and he even came over and said, you want ketchup and aioli, which I thought was surprising for like very traditional Italian sort of restaurant. And we were like, fucking oath we do. Yeah, true. Bring them on over. Did you say? Yeah. And then Annie had this. Did you say, no, mate, I won't have ketchup. Annie- but I'll have tomato sauce, thanks, champ. No, nah, because it, uh, ketchup's better than tomato sauce, Josh. We've gone through this. Same fucking thing, though. Gone through it. We it's not the it. same thing. Ketchup is much more sugary and sweet, and tomato is like peasant version version of ketchup. Ketchup. No wonder ketchup. you don't eat tomato sauce. Oh, it's for peasants. Sorry. That's okay. That's all right. That story. Now, Who's the one put- in bloody Italy? <laughs> you. Me. The big dog LDD. Correct. You're not, you're not seeing where I'm going with that? I mean, you're the peasant back home. That's what I was saying. I said it is very typical of Lou not to indulge in what the the so called peasants inverted commas would indulge in. You see uh, what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, now listen Skip up. Dior and I've one. been waiting with bated breath. Bated breath. We've been sitting back here in Australia, you know, fiddling with our non foreskins, having a great time, waiting for your yarns, your Europe yarns, Lou. We want a fucking Europe yarn now. You said you got a couple. Why don't you just spin me what you think your top yarn is so far? Just well, spin the top yarn. Can I? Well, you've put a lot of pressure on me because you weren't happy with that I nearly went on a train, and it's and you weren't you happy it. with that. You weren't happy with that. You know, I was behaving the same way as an eight year old, and that I needed to pee on the plane. So now I'm slightly nervous mm. that you're not going to be happy with. The two yarn, two favourite yarns I've got for you. Should I give you an option? You pick which one you want to go with. That is correct. Okay. We've got um, Italian men, we've got boat trip, and we've got the most expensive piece of lamb you've ever paid for. Okay. So we were three yarns. I'll tell all three uh, eventually. Not two. Okay, well, let's go with Italian men. <laughs> okay. So Sunday evening we were staying in this beautiful Airbnb in Porto Rotondo and we were like, we'll just have a couple. We'll just have a few. We're not doing anything crazy. I made a beautiful goodie plate, which is what we call in the Delden family, a platter. So I prepared a beautiful goodie plate for everyone. We're hooning a few tequilas. Everyone had gone to Bob Sinclair the night before at Fee Beach Club. 
and you have to spend like a minimum spend to get like a booth or whatever. And everyone went above that. Yep. Like it was a large, large evening. And then we had a few drinks the next day. Um, and then we were like, let's go wander around the city. The thing is everything's open so late, which is very difficult for me because I like to be asleep by like nine. And so everything's open so late. So it was like 9.30 and we were like, we'll go for a wander around and we'll, we'll, we'll see what's happening in the town. And then we're <laughs> sitting down at the end of this like fancy street. Everyone's on this like strip having dinner. I've got tour on my back and we're seeing how long I can carry her for, like going up and down past this restaurant doing like squats. And because they don't understand um, this, we were saying it's like very Italian, so they don't understand what a tequila soda is. So they're just bringing out shots. So they're just bringing out shots with lime. So we are like very drunk by this point. And then someone has taught tour um, – Bonasera, like a, a greeting. And so she's going around and saying it to everyone, going, Bonaseras, Bonaseras, like the the is it the city or something in Spain. Like she's saying it completely wrong. And then these two Italian men and one of the girlfriends actually stop and like correct her. And then we end up like talking to them, end up going out for drinks with them. So we're at this table and for some reason I got stuck down the end with one of the Italians. Like that was lovely, but his English wasn't so great that I'd just like have to pick up when I'd hear words that I'd know. So he'd be like, da, 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 like fashion industry. And so I'd be like, tell me more about the fashion industry. Fuck um, that, dude. And then, yeah, and then we – um. Oh, what else happened that night? Blurred all into one, and then I'm gonna actually go into. I'm going into a two yarns here, Josh. This is going into two. I'm I'm, I'm feeding it straight into two. Jump into two. Before you jump into two, so just to be clear, you you act like you acted like everyone overseas expects Australians and New Zealanders to act like drunk Pretty fucking much. bogans, breaking yeah, the piss yes. out of their culture. No, we yeah. were taking the cool. piss out of the culture. No, no. Please, How the fuck were we taking please, the please, piss please. out of the culture? Because you just said, we you said not. before the podcast started, we you said not. Tor was going, Bonaceres, you'll sound stupid, people. You'll sound stupid, remember? You said that? No, I before did Before the podcast that, started. Jack. I did not say that, Jack. <laughs> Well, Socratic I had to brief you to make me. sure the stories were – no, I had to brief you to make sure the stories were um, – we're appropriate for this podcast. This is a highbrow show. Oh, I'm pretty sure and they're appropriate. You're the one who's turned them on the angle and trying to make it sound like I'm not being appropriate. We're learning greetings, and she's just clearly got it very wrong. <laughs> um, so the next day we jumped on a boat, and I was like obviously pretty hungover, and we were doing a full day on the boat. So we got like a little, I think it's, I think you'd call it like a, a sailboat. It's like a wooden, a wooden ship. Not like a Noah's Ark, like a like a sailboat, you know, kind of thing. Uh, and we had this cute little man called Giorgio who would take us around the coves, and the water was like so blue. And at this point, I'm fine. Like I'm probably still slightly, maybe slightly still drunk, so didn't feel too bad. And then and then Giorgio takes us to another another cove, and I'm going, "Fuck, girls, I do not feel well here." Like I was like, "This is a combination of seasickness and being hungover." And I was like, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I need to make myself sick. Like, I, I do not feel well. So I, I'm at the back of the boat. My friend Britt has got her hands around my waist, holding on to me so that I don't go head first into the water. I'm throwing up um, melon, prosciutto, and bread into the beautiful blue oh. ocean. And there's, like, there's like oh. boats all around us just watching me, like, Uh, (laughs) you are a fucking you're a fucking grub like imagine like like being in that beautiful scenario you you're surrounded with beautiful people that the the water is crystal clear people are out the kids going for a sale with their children and there's this fucking kiwi bird on the back of a boat going no brit just hold me, hold my hips, bro. Just keep hold, bro. Keep hold of my hips. What? Oh, a bit of bread in that, bro. 
bit of bread in there, bro, and water me up. She was, she was so calm about it as well. She's holding my waist going, keep going, good girl, good girl. And then afterwards I'm like, oh, and she's like, we need water, like yelling at Georgia, we need water. <laughs> it was so I funny. And no, I, I felt a bit better right. after that. But, yeah, I was thinking like probably something like sharks or like a big tuna fish or like a kingfish or something would come and, you know, probably – have a bit of lunch for them. Or your previous lunch would be their new lunch. Yeah. I did get a bit Mate, scared I'm of just... sharks. Yeah, naturally. If you, whenever I'm on the ocean, I'm always conscious that those little fuckers, are, well, not little, those big fuckers are swimming around somewhere. But, yeah, you know, that's my then, worst and... fear in the world is to be out, out, like my worst fear in the world is to be out in the ocean by myself. And then... Because I'd never get seasick. And then I remember I was at the pub one night. I'm like, yeah, I'm going fishing with my mate Scalzi. Like, me and Starby and a few of the boys, we're going fishing tomorrow. They're like, don't you worry about getting drunk. I'm like, mate, never been seasick in my fucking life. Not once have I been seasick. So then, like, we get home at sort of 3. We're up at 4.30 to go fishing. And we're, like, going 30 k's offshore. Like, you can't see the land. And I am immediately so violently fucking ill. Like, I'm I'm vomiting everywhere, blah, 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 blah. And... The worst, my worst fear of anything is being out in the ocean, out in that ocean. And I was so seasick that I actually had to jump into the ocean, into the unknown, in order to try and stop the seasickness. It was the fucking worst experience. It was the worst. I haven't been back out. That would have been six years ago. Seasickness is fucked. It actually feels like vertigo or like a violent, violent hangover. Well, I mean, mine were morphed into two. Same, so am I, so I get the feeling. I took the next day mm. off work. It fucked me up so bad. Oh, and everyone would have just thought you'd had a massive night. Which was factually accurate, but then yes. on top of the fucking sea, it was so rocky out there. It damn near killed me. Yeah, it's very terrifying. And the sharks thing, like I think Annie or, or Angeli, one of the girls, was like, oh, oh, shark, or something, and I was like, don't. You Not funny. Was Annie scared of them? You Not just be funny. like, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? Like, Annie, are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? You've no, been waiting Annie, for that one, have you? As scared. soon as, as, soon as you well, heard no, the, heard you the name. you check on Annie. I know the soul, well, Jack. Get, I just know that you care a lot about Annie. No, what? I just know you care about Annie. You just got to, are you okay? Annie, are you, you okay? Annie, you okay? You okay? You okay, Annie? Oh, don't don't as you worry. I've still got. by or struck by a smooth shark. Smooth operator, she's a smooth oh, dude. operator. Really? Wrong, operator. Wrong song, but do you know how I told you the other day that my friend had a song stuck in her head for a year? That yeah. was it. Smooth, was smooth operator. operator. That song is a banger, <laughs> an absolute tsunami. <laughs> That's coming straight from sea, Not waving at the land. That's how good it is. Not if you've got it in your head for a year. I w- if I could have a song stuck in my hair f- head for a year, it'd probably be- that'd be up there, top five. Mine'd be um, "Do Hast" by Ramstein. What's that? Do Do Hast Do Hast Mish Do Hast Mish Huhan. That that that. It's Ramstein. It's a German, they're like a German heavy metal band. <laughs> I knew as soon as you uh, said that it was, it was something that I wasn't going to be aware of. <laughs> You'd be like surprised how much that happens, Lou. I've still got one more yarn for you. <laughs> been it. They've been. You know what? You've gone from complete toilet the first the first uh, mm-hmm. holiday ep to improvement. Certain improvement. Second ep. I'm proud of you. What am I hitting? Like a B plus at the moment. I'd say you definitely C plus territory. C plus? That's cruel. It's above average, but there's definitely room for improvement. But you were an F before, dude, so you really you're fucking killing it in my <laughs> mind. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. And then the next podcast. I'm gonna get to yeah, A plus by the end of the trip. You've got to. That's the goal. Okay. 
So the, this uh, this other night we went out and we went to this restaurant and we were like, oh my God, this is stunning. We're like right on the water. It's this beautiful, quaint little Italian restaurant. The staff were so attentive, like beautiful. And they bring out the menu, get a bottle of Chardonnay, a couple of tequila sodas for old big dog LDD over here. Mummy likes tequila. I'm mummy, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never get over it. I'll never get over it. Uh, it's so good. Um, and then the menu comes out and we're like, ooh, this is this is pricey. But it's our first night in Porto Rotondo. So we're like, fuck it. We'll go all out, you know. We'll order a few things from this menu. Um, I shit you not, Judge, arrives on the table. Um, if you put your, your finger and your index, your thumb and your index finger together, you know how you get like a little circle almost? Picture that size. Mm-hmm. That size yeah. of lamb comes out for no. 80 euro. Fuck off. But wait, there's more. We get uh, the ravioli. Fuck. Three off. pieces. 65 euros. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> you deserve it. You fucking birds do this to yourselves. You do it to yourselves. I'm sorry. I, I love you, but I do not feel nah, sorry for you. The experience was worth it. You want to go to these restaurants? Was- oh, fuck. Was it? Why? Why is the experience worth it? Because this experience was worth it, Judge, because we're in the bloody, we're in the middle of Italy. We're in great company. We're in great wines. We're having great tequilas. Yes, the food was fucking minuscule and we were starving afterwards, but it was the experience that counts, my friend. That's a load of hot cock because you can have the, just as much fun in a pub with all of your mates. It's the company, you, you, your stomachs were hungry, your wallets were empty. So your stomach and your wallets are both empty, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You're probably pretty pissed, I'll give you that, because you're so yep. fucking hungry. Yep. Whereas you can have the same experience. It's just you guys want the fucking Instagram photos and shit and you'll spend inordinate amounts of money. Get- that would ruin my night. That would fuck no. my night. I didn't even get an Instagram photo there. The only thing that I was crying with laughter at was is the ravioli came with like this fucking like bubble bath kind of looking thing on it. And I'm like crying into my meal, like weeping because I'm like, I just want a bubble bath now. I just want to bathe in this. And the waiter's like looking over me like, what the fuck's this girl pissing herself laughing at? And I was like, I want to bathe in this. You got a big bath of this out back? Fuck the ravioli off. I want a bath. <laughs> oh, can I tell you, yarn? <laughs> No, I haven't finished. So you know, I haven't finished. There's more. But hold on. Let's just segue while while the topic's hot. And then okay. we get back to your, you your yarn. Remind me to tell you so, about the rest of the night. Yeah, yeah. You spin it after I finish my bath yarn. So you know how we were dissing fucking people about taking baths? I've got a confession to make. Mm. In our new place, we've got a bath. You, I, I'm a fool. You had a little bath. penis a up. I, I nearly look at my little peeny float in the water every second day. I reckon I have a bath every second day, dude. Now, shut they're up. fucking awful. Because I've just got I, – I don't like using body wash, so I just use a bar of soap and I sit there like this and I feel like an old fucking prospector after a long time in the fucking gold mines sitting with my <laughs> knees up by, and I'm going like this, washing myself, and, I'm, and I am in he- baths, Rule, but now look. No, I love yesterday. a bath, but do you use yeah. bubble bath? So this is what I'm getting to. Yesterday, because oh, no. I have so many baths now, I go, fuck, I'm going to step my bath game up. I'm going to go get some bubble bath. So I, I go into Coles and I get <laughs> bubble bath and a fucking bag of salts, bath salts. Oh, yeah. Now Magnesium I'm getting all the salts. bath oh, yeah. shit. Run into my mate Drakey and he goes, Here you go, mate. I'm like, Fuck. I'm like, Good. He's like, What are you doing? Got some, what do you got there? I'm like, Oh, just getting some bar stuff for Steph. (laughs) (laughs) I'm like, She fucking loves him, mate. (laughs) It is all for me. It's all for me. But I couldn't do it. I couldn't tell it. He'll hear this. He'll hear this now. I was like, Yeah, mate, fucking Steph. He listens. She's in my heart. And I'm literally in my head going, you fucking coward. And I'm literally going back to pour one and put my, my bubble bath in and my new salts. 
Oh, I fucking love them. But I, I'm, I love I'm them. proud of you for admitting it. I'm proud of you for admitting it. I, I think to. perhaps well, next time you have a bath, like, Judge. Film it. I think, yeah, I was about to say, perhaps next time um, you have a bath, Jack, you, you go live on the Wee Mail Instagram, perhaps, <laughs> for the big winners. <laughs> Maybe just close friends. I wouldn't want. Oh, I wouldn't want to put all the blokes to shame, mate. <laughs> oh, yeah, the big dog. Big dog LDT, big dog Jachi with their big bath all cocks. Right. <laughs> Do you know I literally sit there sometimes and just start pissing myself because of our conversation about the, the cock floating to the top of the water. Oh, we were like and roasting just, it, roasting it. I see yeah, I see him bobbing there, and I just I can't help but just laugh every single time. And I'm now like, right, I'm, I'm fucking picturing. Get out. Fuck it. Yep, I'm. Yeah, you don't I'm picturing your penis Sorry. in a bath now. Oh. <laughs> Not what I need on my holiday, thanks. Not what I'm after on my yeah, holiday. You know what? Let's. Not get- what I'm after on my holiday. Yeah, that is completely fair, and I and you know what? I formally apologise. You don't need that fucking stress. Mm-hmm. Thanks so much. So continue your yarn about uh, bloody dinner. Oh, the rest of the evening. Yeah, so we obviously left in uh, a beautiful experience but fucking starving. Um, oh, and then we were we went and got gelato and there was like a sweet store and it was beautiful wandering around. Like it was, I shit you not, Judge, it was midnight. There are like 10-year-olds awake, like running around. Like it's just everything is sleepy because everything is closed from two till five because they have their siesta and then they wake up and don't have dinner till yeah. like 9.30. So it, the, it was pumping at midnight and we could hear this music and we were like, where the fuck is that coming from? We're like wandering around the town trying to find this like live band. And we're like, is it going to be a, a speaker or is it going to be like a live band? We walk in. We, we're 100% it was ticketed. We just walk straight in. We're in like a coliseum, like auditorium type thing. And this like epic Italian yeah. band is going. And we're like, this is fucking hilarious. We just run in like drunk, rolling our heads around, sit down on rock, colise- like a rock auditorium. And this young yeah. bands going and then there's this older older guy and he starts doing a speech in Italian and and I'm like a bit drunk so I'm like trying not to giggle because I'm sort of trying to read the emotions of the crowd and how to behave on how the speech is going so I'm nodding being like mm-hmm. and then people would giggle so I'd go <laughs> like trying to understand what I was saying anyway I put it on my put it on my story because he starts singing with the young guy in the band beautiful voices kind of like a an opera sort of style and someone replies to my story being like, you are so lucky to have seen him live. He's one of the most famous like um, Italian like composition, like writes all the music for like really famous Italian um, singers and like stars and we just fucking wander True. into this concert in the middle of Porto Rotondo and see this guy performing. He's like full Porto- famous. Porto Rotondo, also what the Italians used to call eight-year-old Lou. <laughs> How I'm long have you been waiting to say that part of the story? <laughs> well, this minute you said fucking Porto Rotondo. <laughs> yeah. Dude, but seriously, that's one of the coolest fucking things. That is mad. I know. I know, and I, I like sent photos to my dad and my mom, and just telling everyone I've literally seen a famous Italian singer. That's one for the books. That's one for the grandkids. And little did he know there was a fucking very very mid tier podcaster in that audience that would spin it on a very very mid tier yeah. podcast that next week. Yep, that's probably going to skyrocket like his profile happened. being on this this low tier podcast. <laughs> Oh, fuck, I've given us at least mid. We're at least mid tier. Oh. oh, I would, I'd say we're like, uh, not below par, but like in between we're that par. and mid. Yeah. Okay. There's room for so, improvement. Okay. You'd think hey, after a year we would have found that you room. You want to play the. We're all boxed in, kid. There's no moving up from here. We're at it. We've hit the peak. This is where we're staying, bedwetters. Come along on the journey if you want or fuck off. 
Um, you want to do the movie plot game? All right, Lulu. Should we do a bit of movie plot game, eh? Yes, please, Senorita. Now, I'm not going to tell the bedwetters the name of this movie either. That's what we started doing because they wanted to guess along with us. That was the feedback we got. So there's this kid. He's a fucking old man. He owns, makes these shoes everywhere, right? And he finds this thing in the in this dirt bit, like in a bit where they've excavated. Anyway, it sends him back to the, if this game. It fucking sends him back into the bush for ages and anything. He comes out and <clears throat> there's his house is all covered up and it's not what he knows and all that sort of stuff. But there's his family living in there. And then they play this game and everything and then the bloody keep stuff keeps happening. All these fucking animals keep coming out, these big earthquakes and everything like that, you know what I mean? And then they're just running around trying to finish it because that's the only way they'll stop the hunter coming and blowing them to smithereens. And then um, they've actually got to try and finish the game and get him back to normal and – then there's a big stampede and all that sort of stuff, and they and they, they struggle, and, and and that's scary because you can literally die playing the game, you know. And um, anyway, they finish it, they finish the game, and that he goes back. Game to of Thrones. The, the shoe's broken. Nah. Go, game of Thrones or Harry Potter and the no, Goblet of Fire. Nah, Hunger nah. Games. Nah. Can I have a hint? That's hard. Uh, yeah, okay. Games, well, games, games, games. When they finish games. the game, it all goes back to normal and like none of it ever happened. Is it the one that there was a remake Inception. of it? Correct. In the last couple of years? <laughs> Inception. <laughs> no. No, but Dior's right. There was a couple of remakes. Well, it just sounds like a, it just sounds like a shit movie that he's dreamt the whole thing. I don't want to watch it. It's a board game. Jumanji. Yes. Yes. Smart senorita. Ten Smart lucky. senorita. Well, let's start. I don't know about that. You said it was Inception. True. I don't know if I've seen Jumanji. The, I remember the original one. I liked it quite a bit, the, the OG Jumanji. Mate, it's one of the great classic films. I'd argue. Was it Robin Up there Robin Williams? Yeah. It's his birthday the other day. R.I.P., homie. Who, oh, yeah. Who, who's in the remake of Jumanji? The Rock, Jack Black, Kevin Hart, fucking a couple of birds. <clears throat> Star-studded lineup. Yeah, not 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 great films. They all? Hey. Question. I haven't seen them, but they don't appeal to me. They weren't bad. Where did Star yeah. Studded come from? Shouldn't it be like Star Strucken or Star like not like where's the studded from? Star Studded liner. Do you think, mate? Google. Maybe it's got something. You know, like you, you said, like studded belts when something some things are really close together. It's studded. You know what I mean? So it's like a star studded movie. It means there's a fuckload of these cunts in the same movie. That's pure conjecture. Nah, feels wrong. Feels wrong to me, Senorita. Do you? Um, yeah, I'm trying to find it. Star studded, like heaps of studs. It might have something to do with like the night sky. What? Mm, yeah. Studded. Not- when are there studs in the sky? There's only stars. <laughs> no, but like... If the term studded means that a lot of shit is close together, you know, well, then you just call it Star Orion's Belt. That's one of the dumbest things you've ever said. (laughs) There's plenty of those. (laughs) Oh, there's a fucking plethora. Studded. Yeah, so decorated or augmented with studs. So you would assume. Oh, you were right. You would assume that when it's star studded, it's adorned with stars. So I'm pretty sure I was fucking right on the ball there. Yeah, you weren't you weren't wrong, but you weren't right. Now you play your well, I was right. Now you play your game, Lulu. Give me the movie. Okay. Um <laughs> there's a there's a, a like a, a couple of best friends and um 
one of the best friends ends up getting engaged and then it's kind of like who's going to sort, you know, the like wedding and all that kind of shit. And then there's like, I guess like a group of people who wouldn't usually hang out, like come together to, to, to plan this big, you know, thing. The wedding ringer. Like, all this drama goes down because like the girls want to like one up each other and then like they like kind of lose a friendship over it. She might not even go to the wedding. And then she's like kind of in love with this guy. Bridesmaids. Like, kind of like, yes. I was about to get to the cake part, but Senorita <laughs> smart and got him before me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think I didn't know I didn't know whether you would have seen that movie. I thought shit, this could be another Princess Diary scenario. So different. Bridesmaids is mm. a classic comedy. Uh Princess Diaries not in the wheelhouse, unfortunately. Don't talk Literally. shit about Princess Diaries. Phenomenal movie. Should have should have should have won an Oscar, but I agree. Bridesmaids is hilarious. Like the comedy gold from all of those females is fucking funny. There's a colonial woman on the wing. She's churning butter. I'm excited. I feel relaxed and I'm ready to party. Oh, Helen, you do. No, no, that is not me. I am, I am Mrs. Iglesias. It is not me. I'm Mrs. Iglesias. Yeah, the movie was funny, see? The movie. Not not me quoting them. Not a random peewee repeating it, yeah. You know mm. what I mean? Cozy, cozy. Water woman. Yeah, mate, it's fucking 35 degrees. Got to stay hot girl hydrated. You're 50% there. You're hydrated. Don't. <laughs> Wrecked. It's very mean. I'm oh, crying God. in Italy. Oh, it's Italian oh, tears. Now, they're crocodile tears, just like your, the, the, the leather on your handbag. Now, listen, Lulu, I thought seeing Hotline. as you're overseas and you're enjoying yourself, you're in Europe, you're bloody having a great time, that we should do like a maybe a holiday-ish themed red light, green light. I've just got a couple here. Okay, are you just going to do them for me? I might, yeah. Okay, please, go go forth. Absolutely. Go forth. Okay. Red light, green light. Posting so many stories every day that it's like the bar is tiny of your holiday when you're over there. What do you mean the bar is tiny? You know on Instagram stories how when you post fuckloads of them, the bar gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And so it's so small. Do you know what I mean? Because this is my thing. No one gives a fuck that much. Mm. I reckon you Mm. can max out at two to three stories a day and that'll keep people – that's fine. I think you're allowed to do eight a day. Eight a day on holiday. People who post more than 15 – Back off, unless it's really good content. Back off. When, when In saying be, that, when would it be? I've it's been, a, I've been posting fucking beaches and 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 flowers daily. The same kind of thing. Everyone's probably going. We get it, Lou. It's a cute looking fucking building in Italy. Get over it. I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah, I can't help oh, it. It's beautiful. A petunia. A fucking petunia. <laughs> Great. A peony. Oh, shock horror. It's a sunflower in Italy. <laughs> I'm like, like I'm like roasting be, myself. Pe- correct. But people, this is what I reckon. People, if you're overseas at the moment and you're doing a fucking if you're doing more than I'm sorry, Lou, more than four stories a day. Look, not no one gives a fuck in the first place, but more than that, mate, you, it's no one cares about you. So you've got to. I reckon you you're limited to four a day, and you've got to make them good because no one wants to see a peony, no one wants to see another bit of clear water. Make them good content, good stories, and we'll remain engaged. If not, fucking miss me with it. I'm going seven to eight's appropriate. So we'll call this an orange, and we'll say. Say love because it sees the day on to the next. Because I love it. Yep, I respect it. Red light, green light. 
adopting the local language slash accent in a very poor way. Green, because you're trying to learn and you're trying to be involved in the culture. Like I'll say ciao and grazie, ciao bella, bellissimo. Yep. And? Are you yep. asking me to say some more? I'm actually being over here because so obviously I'm Italian and I don't know much of it. My thing was I'm like I'm so mad when Franco took us to um, lessons when we were like 15 and I didn't follow through with it. So next year when I come back to Europe – I would have learned the language. Like I'm going to nighttime classes as soon as I get back, Judge. Like I'll be doing updates for the rest of the year on the We Mean Well podcast. Like that's how often I'm going. Hold me to that. That, my friend, is one of the largest loads of hot cock I've ever heard in my life. I can no. guarantee you, you can, because of your ADHD, you will do two lessons. You'll do no. two lessons and you'll be like, it's too far away. I'll just fucking start in six months and get half. Like, it, it's not going to happen. I'm sorry. Josh, it's happening and I'm going to go back to New Zealand and I'm going to knock on Franco's front door and not tell him I'm doing it and speak to him in full Italian for a whole conversation for an hour. And he'll yeah, cry yeah, with don't joy. don't tell your dad who listens to your podcast that you're doing it. Don't tell him that. He doesn't listen sure that much. Franco. Franco. Franco, blink twice if you're listening. <laughs> yep, I didn't, I didn't see any blinking. Wow, well, I Listen, mean I'll be honest with it, you. I'm green on the accent thing because it makes me I, – I like to like, you know, you're like, yeah, um, or whatever the fuck it is. It makes me feel cool. I'm green on it. We would walk into um, places and a lot of the Italians would speak to me in Italian and then like Tor would go in somewhere and they'd – Speak to her in English. Because <laughs> I obviously look Italian. Um, correct. Now, red light, green light. When you're on holidays, doing like history tours and museums and shit. Green. Fucking oath green, dude. But I haven't there done There is nothing better, any- I reckon. Yeah, yeah. This is this is the thing. I guarantee you, you would you say green like the color of your dress. But you wouldn't have the only fucking thing that you've stepped in that's remotely ancient was that amphitheater when you watched the famous guy, and that was accidental. Okay, so don't give me the green shit. <laughs> no, no, I'm doing some history. I'm doing a history tour on my own in Palma. You wander around, and they take take you around. Spain. What? Spanish. Oh, tr- are, you, you, are you actually <laughs> – thank you for clarifying. Spanish. Uh, and then you're actually doing that? Yes, I am. I'm staying an extra night on my own to get immersed in the culture. I don't know if you're this stinks of bullshit, if you ask me. It's, it's Jack, Edward Archdale, <laughs> I, Louisa Claire Delden, am doing some touristy historical – Things. Just realise something. What? When you say Claire in your accent, it sounds like clear. Like just to make it clear. Louisa Claire Delden. It does. Same as when I say woman and just woman. Say, just, and to you, make it clear. just to make it clear. Yeah, Claire, Claire and Claire. Yeah. Same thing. Um Yeah, I reckon the the I love going at like, because I love being in like old castles and just being like, who walked these fucking halls? You know what mm. I mean? And like, I just love that shit. David and Goliath. Okay. Red light, green light. Caesar. <laughs> now, Lou, who was what? Julius Caesar? What was his title? The Roman no, Empire. The Roman Empire. The incorrect. He wasn't an emperor. Oh. He was a dictator. His son Octavius oh. was the first ever Roman em- emperor. Okay, he reminds me of the and movie. A the emperor, back then, the, the, it reminds me of the oh movie God, the emperor's, emperor's Groove. <laughs> you know the yeah, llama. New groove. The emperor's new groove. Yeah, yeah, I fucking do, and you got that wrong as well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
right? <laughs> you could actually use some moves from a lot from that armor. Last time I saw you dance, fuck me dead. Um, red light, green light. Now this is more to do with with couples, so maybe Lou, you sit out on this one. Red light, green light. Uh, <laughs> Take <laughs> uh, a seat to the side. Laws. Yeah, yeah. You just you duck off. Me and Dior will discuss this. Red light, green light. Applying laws to your holiday. I.e., when I went overseas last year, like I don't smoke every day. I'm not a smoker. But when I went overseas, I said to Steph, "Now listen. There's a couple of things that you cannot pull me up on, and it's how mm-hmm. much I drink and how much I smoke overseas. You're on holiday. I'm on holidays." For three weeks. And I'm going to, if I wake up in the morning and I pour a whiskey and spark a dairy, that's, that's, holi- that's, that's me in Rome. That's just me in Ibiza. You know what I mean? Win in Rome. <laughs> so red light, green. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> um, I am going red, I'm sorry, green on that. Like you're on holiday, you can do what you want. If you wake yep. up and you want to have a whiskey at seven a.m., fucking have one. I agree. I completely. Dior. Yeah, I'm green, but I'm I'm confused about your whole like making laws thing. That just sounds like the opposite of like making a rule. Like you can just do what you want. Yeah, but the law is I'm making a law that I can do what I want. Well, I don't. Okay. You know what I mean? That's yeah. the rule. The rule is there are no rules. Well, I just do what I want anyway. Fuck yeah, then just do what you want, that. Judge. Yeah, my uh, girlfriend isn't whiny and bossy. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, <laughs> shit. Shit, we got tension. Well, shit, we- Mine is. So daddy's got to make those kind of rules and guess what? I'm daddy, by the way. Yeah. All right, well, then it's it's green for you. All right, daddy. Doesn't sound like daddy's in charge. <laughs> nah, I'm yeah, the king dad, of my Mummy's in charge. Mummy's in charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mummy's Steph, by the way, in this instance. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Um, those are my red lights. Okay, red let's do let let's let's do some hotlines. I've missed hearing the bedwetters' voices. Please, Senorita. Those were very good. You did very good prep. Well done. C plus for you too. That's a hey, better than what I got at school. Are you guys going to oh, the pool God. or to the club? Okay. Oh, fuck you. You didn't need to ask that. <laughs> yes, I did, mate. I've got to walk to the club on my own. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you poor fucking thing. I've got to walk. I got lost Sorry, this man, morning. No, Judge, this morning, <laughs> this morning I got lost oh, and I had to – I had to pull over an Italian man and go, Oi, how how do I get to this address? And he didn't speak English. So I had to pretend to do a golf club swing because we were staying near the golf club. And he had to like point me around in his cute little Italian accent. And then I made it home. That was just my phone that tried that someone rang. Yeah, Lou, that's look, you've been lost for a long time. So Yeah. I got lost twice. You guys going to the club or the pool? Uh, me and Dior are going to like a kebab shop after this and then just fucking going back to <laughs> respective abodes. Uh, okay. Now, let's see what the bed winners have got for us. Yeah. Hit me with the hotline. Start on your pair of fucking grogs. <laughs> hey, uh, just got a question for the pair of um, Give us your fucking... Um, uh, Best, uh, uh, most embarrassing, um, like childhood experience. Like, yeah, piss yourself. <laughs> it never you got gets that out old. Quickly, which I respect. <laughs> oh, mate. I love, no, I just love how easily he got that out. So, give us your best mm. or most embarrassing childhood experience. You'd have a couple. It was very good. Oh, Judge, my whole entire childhood was an embarrassment. There's too many to, there's too many to name, too many stories to name. I remember I got dacked once at school 
I got dacked once when we were going back up from like playing PE and like full everything down. I was like 10 years old and so my little peenie was out and I was so embarrassed that I um, pulled up my pants and ran away crying and um, and hid for like three hours. That wasn't great. Mm-hmm. Have you recovered? It's actually you okay now? Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on from that one quick. Like, yeah. Let's just get like <laughs> fucking Josh Partridge, you cunt. <laughs> hey, Victorian here, new listener, but red light, green light for you. Fucking top sheets. Surely that's a red. I'm a housekeeper. I do cleaning every fucking day and I'd put them horrid top sheets on. <laughs> Is that a red flag or a green flag? Wear red light. You do that at home willingly. Bless. Bless indeed. Also, shut the fuck up, Dutch. Yeah, yes. Hey, listen, top sheets are fucking green. Yeah, I agree. You need a top sheet. It's grubby if you don't have a top sheet because then you've got to wash your doona all the time. Mate, I get where she's coming from in terms of it. she's a house fucking cleaner. That'd be annoying as fuck. As, as fuck, sorry. To do that all the time, top sheets would be annoying. But, I mean, in winter, you need that extra layer. And in summer, fuck off the doona, use the top sheet. You know what I mean? It's a fucking – that's a go. Yeah. you got to have – got to have the toppy. Yeah. What about – um? Got to have that sloppy toppy. Kind of similar (laughs) – similar vibe, red light, green light. And this is something I fucking always do religiously. If you go into, like, a hotel or, like, something where the bed's been made up, and they've tucked the doona and the top sheet like into the bed. Well, what's your play with that? Dude, Dude. I, I've just violently kicked the fuck out of it until it loosens up. Yeah, same. I fucking hate uh, it like being trapped in like a mummy. Yeah, same. No, I enjoy it being a tight bed, a tight hotel bed. Do you? Mm, I like it nice and so tight, you- locked in. That makes three of us, I'm assuming. You're sick. Get your head out of the gutter. What? I'm talking about hotel beds. I'm talking about hotel beds. Sick, man. Okay. Hit me with another. Next one. Good morning, Senor Beaters. It is the Canberra Cunt Chaser here. This is probably my fifth <laughs> fucking call. I just want to hear my own voice on the fucking potty. Quick shout out to my brother, Nathan. He's a good bloke. I know. Uh, quick red light, green light for you. When you fucking get in your car and it's all frosted up to the shit house because you live in Canberra and Canberra's fucking cold, um, putting water on it or not, I don't. I just fucking crank up the heater, crank up the fucking window what? wipers to full ball, sit here for about 10 minutes contemplating why the fuck I even go to work. And, um, yeah, probably waste fuel, probably waste time. I don't give a fuck. All right. Fucking air Sorry, air you've air got air to air chuck water air on air it. Air Otherwise, air. you're just going to be sitting in your car with a frozen oh. windshield. Yeah, I used to love, I used to love doing that windscreen. I used to love doing that when it was like when it was cold, getting up, it was like going to work, going to work in the dairy or like going to school or whatever. And you just put fucking hot water in a bucket, you go and pour it over the frost ridden windscreen. Fucking loved it. Cleared it right up. And then you just bust it, all the ice starts flaking off as you use a windscreen wipers. Man, that's fucking green. I don't think you're meant to use hot water. I think that smashes the glass. Franco it, it told me has. that. Never did. Oh. I think boiling water would, absolutely, maybe. But hot water, you're fine. I think Franco definitely told me it breaks the glass. Yeah, Franco always, uh, also told you that swan wind from their wings breaks your bones. So I'm not really giving Franco the benefit <laughs> of the doubt when it comes to shit that breaks, all right? <laughs> so <laughs> forgive me on that okay. one, Lulu. All right, hit me with one now, more hot we've line. we've had one come in. No, two. We've had one come in because I just want to. These are going to be random ones. Got a bit of a red light, green light for you. Um, sitting on your phone for extended periods of fucking time, you're watching a movie, and then popping back in to say, hey, so who's this? What's going on? No. Pay attention to the fucking movie. 
and uh, Louisa. Uh, we all know Toby Steve, the dog. Nancy Cruz did his fucking hate him. Peace. Did he just say he died of natural? Did he say he died of natural causes, natural Toby? Cause. Yeah, we're yeah. aware of that. I don't have to give Toby's biopsy to the bedwetters. Biopsy? Is that what it's called? You mean autopsy? Or is that like, yeah, what's a biopsy? Is that like a deposit of semen? When they take it, they take like a biopsy in your skin or something. If they need to the oh. cancer and shit like that. Yeah, okay, sorry. You know what I mean? Like Toby's like death certificate or something. Autopsy, I've already corrected you. Oh, sorry. Hey, Josh, just hold one second. The girls are about to leave for the club. Let me just double check what my plans are. Fuck off. Everyone's going to the club. So I've got to walk there because content comes first. Fuck you, sir. Fucking money. Fuck you. Fuck Let's you. Do one more round. Well, I miss Rose Bay. I miss Sonoma. How's, my, how's Kevin? You didn't go Kevin's visit? Dead. I haven't visited Kevin. One more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're there. Like, I love it. That always seems to happen at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll finish on a high. Yeah, we'll finish on an absolute ripper. That That's was a great one to end on. Oh. So they've done it. They've sat there for eight, You can hear the background noise. Then they've just hung up. Do you think I'd, – I'd love to think that someone is there with their phone and they've just completely frozen and they've just panicked. They're going – Yeah. Shit. And then they've just hung I don't know up. what to say. That's what I'd love. So, Jack, um, back in when I used to, used to work in breakfast radio, sometimes that would happen. People would freeze up before they'd jump on air. You were on – you worked in breakfast radio. Right. Okay. Yes. I didn't know that. Yes. That's good. Yeah. So we're still learning. <laughs> yeah. We're still learning. We are. <laughs> <laughs> Learn faster. That'll do, that'll do us for now. Now That'll do us for now. I just copied Lulu, exactly what you said. You did. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you did. Um, they were as yeah, good stuff. Lulu, we miss you. Ciao, Bellissimo. Oh, Ciao, Bella. And uh, Dior and I will just make out on the couch for a while, then go home. What do you reckon, bud? Mm, oh, yeah. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Fuck you, too. <laughs>